expand the following logarithms as separate, simpler logarithms. All right, so we have several rules at our several rules at our disposal. We know that the log base b of m times n is equal to the log base b of m plus the log base b of n. And we know that the log base b of m over n is the log base b of m minus the log base b of n. There's a further property of logarithms. And that says that the log base b of m to the nth power can be written as n times the log base b of m. So if we have something that's being raised to a power, that power can be brought in front of the logarithm as an exponent. So let's see how we can deal, how we can use that. Let's look at exercise A. We're asked to expand the logarithm into separate simpler logarithms. We're given the log base 7 of 4 a to the third b to the second. So notice really that says 4 times a to the third times b to the second. And so I can expand this as the log base 7 of 4 plus the log base 7 of a to the third plus the log base 7 of b to the second. Now, looking at that last rule, log base b of m to the nth can be written as n times the log base b of m. So notice I have an a to the third and I have a b to the second. So I can write this as the log base 7 of 4 plus 3 times the log base 7 of a plus 2 times the log base 7 of b. Exercise b. I have the log of 2x to the fifth divided by y to the third. First, let's get rid of that division by using a subtraction. So that's the log of 2x to the fifth subtract the log of y to the third. But we still have a product here, right? 2x to the fifth is a product. So that's the log of 2 plus the log of x to the fifth minus the log of y to the third. Now, noticing that I have the logarithm of something raised to a power, I can take the powers and rewrite them as coefficients. So log 2 plus 5 log x minus 3 log y. Let's look at part c where we're given the natural log of the square root of 11 a cube b to the ninth c. First, we need to recall that the square root of a number can be written as the number to the one-half power. It's one of our rules for exponents that we saw in a previous chapter. So that means I can write the natural log of that quantity as the natural log of 11 a cube b to the ninth c to the one-half power. And this allows me to use one of our rules for logarithms. Again, if I have a logarithm of a quantity to a power, I'm allowed to bring the power in front as a coefficient. So I now have one half of the natural log of 11 a cubed b to the ninth c. Now, on the inside, I have a product of 11 times a cubed times b to the ninth times c. So I can rewrite all of those using addition of logarithms. So I now have one half of the natural log of 11 plus the natural log of a cubed plus the natural log of b to the ninth plus the natural log of c. 
I can use the same rule as before. I can bring those powers in front of the individual logarithms as coefficients. So I have one half of the quantity natural log of 11 plus 3 natural log A plus 9 natural log B plus the natural log of C. And finally, I'll distribute that one half through the entire expression. So I'd have one half natural log of 11 plus three halves natural log of A plus nine halves natural log of B plus one half natural log of C.